Welcome back to the sound for more channel. Today I have the pleasure to start a new series of tutorials or at least a number of tutorials on Cardinal, which is a virtual um, modular synth based on the popular VCV um, rack. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So this is uh, available for free. Indeed, you have also access to the source code. So you can search on the website for Cardinal. And it runs for Windows, FreeBSD, uh, Mac, uh, Linux. So it's great. And it's a modular um, synth. As you can see, I've just loaded it into the standalone version. And as you can see, you have a number of modules which remind you of VCV Rack or MI Rack if you used it, if you used MI Rack in iOS. So it's um, similar as an approach. As you can see, you have um, an environment here where you have all racks where you can drop, of course, the different modules. Okay, so up here you have, um, of course, a menu system. Uh, on the top left side and on the top right hand side, you have, of course, uh, information about utilization of your system. And um, yeah, so you drop modules in, uh, in the user interface, of course, and then you can move them around and um, change the configuration, connect them with different uh, patching cables, etc., etc. So we'll go through it uh, step by step, as I normally do. And um, I start with a simple um, example, which is what you see now on the screen, which is what you get uh, when you start new a project, when you go to file new, and um, it will, of course, load this default um, patch or project. Okay, you have also access to some um, demos here. You can you can say it says open demo example project and which of course you can use to test some of uh, uh, the inbuilt um, demonstrations, which are quite nice actually. I'll show them to you um, in a moment. But as you can see, this, uh, this is the standard example, the default patch. On the left hand side, you have the host MIDI module from where it is taking the VOCT me message or input. So your CV input is coming from there, your gate, right? And your velocity. Then you have a VCO here. So you can see the connection here. So you can determine the pitch of the note. The gate, which is going into an, an ADSR, so I'll tuck the case sustained release here, is going into that. It's, it's taking also re-trigger here, input, so that it can be re-triggered, particularly when you are playing legato. So it will re-trigger the ADSR. And of course, you can check the parameters here. And then it takes the output, which you have different outputs here, of course, from the VCO. And it goes into this VCA module. Okay. So that, uh, and then it takes the output here from the ADSR to modulate the amplitude here. So, and then finally the output from the VCA goes to the host audio, in this case only to the left channel, but you can connect also the right channel there. And here you can adjust the decibel, of course. I have connected just the standard MIDI controller and um, sounds like so. You can see you can make some adjustment, no sustain, more decay, more release, very, very simple to use. Uh, change from sine to triangle wave on from the VCO. Or to a square. Careful, of course, to that it doesn't pick. So. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty simple, right? And, of course, here you have velocity. So if I increase the intensity here for the frequency modulation, and then enable velocity on my controller. Pressing, pressing a different velocity, of course, it creates a variation. Okay, so that's just the beginning to, to get you started. And uh, it's very simple, as I mentioned. Click, by the way, on each module, you have a number of options. For example, under info, you can access your user menu, which redirects you to a web page. 
And for example, you can initialize the module, you can randomize, disconnect the cable, you can, for example, delete the module like so. We don't need the host MIDI CC map, for example, for now, so we can delete that as well. You can click and drag, you can see you move around the different modules. Let's say that I want to add another module, right click and you have access to this view, which is quite big. Yeah, I was already filtering for VCA, but I could say, filter and they will load uh, it will search for filter and then i can choose one to load like so and then for example i can take the output here from the vca go to the input of this filter and then um what we can do take the left here connect it to the output of the filter the same on the right and now we can operate the filter And change the slope here. Here the frequency, the cutoff. You have two tips as well, which are really, really nice. Okay, so let's try some of the uh, demo project to start for the series. The first one, it will ask your course to save because you made some changes. Again, careful on the output. Nice example. Of course, um, there's a pad here as well, which is nice. Again, let's control the volume. Quite nice. Now let's try another one. So let's try, for example, this uh, this one here. Let's try this classic policy. As you can hear, you can create really, really nice patches, really quite unique uh, synth. Okay, this was just a quick uh, getting started tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and we'll continue on the next ones. Thank you. Bye.